Ward 4 City Councilor Troy Davies in studio with me and uh, Troy, some concerns about parking on 33rd Street which is a part of your ward. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, we, we had, there was some communication that got out to, to my residents just saying that, you know, with the, the current growing, which is great, West Side is growing and we're going to see a lot of growth over there with Kensington, but obviously with, with growth you see some growing pains and there was a report that was out there with suggestions that we have parking restrictions on 33rd from Confed all the way up to Avenue W. And there's a lot of residents there that rely on that parking to have people over during the holidays and even if they do have a driveway, they need that parking and so there was definitely some concerns there. So clearing the air, parking, there will be no parking restrictions on 33rd? As of right now, they are going to do some studies on the amount of traffic. But uh, again, the one thing I brought up at Council was just that uh, Massey Place doesn't have any light, light standards to exit Massey Place currently. So we direct pretty much everybody in Massey to 33rd to get out because they can only turn right. Because if you're coming out of uh, Massey Place or Milton, Milton Street and you try to turn left while well, you've got Confederation, uh, Confederation Drive is just you know, packed with vehicles. So you take the easy there. way and go 33rd Street. So right. I just ask the administration, uh, look, think outside the box a little bit and just try to correct those problems before we go drastically to, to reducing parking on 33rd. And that's just been a problem that you've been hearing tons about since you've been elected in, right? Yeah, it's been a short time, obviously a couple, maybe just over two months here that I've been in and this is one of the concerns. And, and growth is, is great for the west side and will continue to grow and it, it's good for young families to start developing on the west side as, as well as the east end, which the mayor talked about yesterday. For sure. Now, um, downtown parking, I know that's not your ward, but uh, you said New Park 8. Yeah, there's, there's obviously issues with downtown parking and, you know, I own a small business downtown as well, so it does affect uh, the business owners and I know the Chamber of Commerce has, has made mention of it as well over the past couple of years, just with the limited parking that we do have. Yeah. So there is, uh, there is plans in the works, obviously with the new Remy Art Gallery, there is a separate project of uh, a parquet that's, that's being talked about being put up and I know uh, Council's supported this and we'd like to see this parquet start to be built sooner than later so that we have this park. I think that's great. I live downtown and just, you know what, I, I can walk downtown which is good. Yeah. But you know in this cold weather if I have to go say to the movie theater, I want more parking, you know, it's yeah. hard. I don't want to be walking in this No, weather, in I no know. Way. Summertime maybe, wintertime <laughs> not so much. Um, let's sh uh, shift gears a little bit. The Gordy Howe Bowl Foundation. Uh, you said council is in discussions about donating some money? Uh, yeah, we did support the initial foundation and they're, they're doing great things. Uh, you know, going, going back to the Gordy Howe, how many of us have played there over the years in football in high school and, you know, that was a place that I played and their turf was in dire needs of repairs back then and this was almost 20 years ago. So uh, this is something that's been in the works and we're uh, just helping out the foundation get off their feet and giving them some money to, to get going. But I think they're going to announce their, their campaign down the road and we give them all the support that we can get. Yeah, I know that they're aiming at raising another $10 million, um, that's said to be required for the improvements. Are you hopeful that they can do it? Yeah, well, they've got a great team there. I've seen the list of uh, the board of directors, and I, I know they've, uh, they're in talking about having a, a good campaign chair, and I think they'll make that announcement soon. So it's the right project, and, uh, you know, Saskatoon is just known for stepping up for stuff like this, and I'm sure they'll, they'll, be, they'll be fine. Well, perfect. Thank you so much, Troy Davies, for coming in bright and early this morning, Ward 4 uh, City Councillor. Coming up, a touching story 